Okay, so you're going to need, um, I purchased this uh, paint roller brush set from Amazon. I think the rollers is better when it comes to painting. I don't like to use the regular brushes um, because it, it has makes streaks in your um, in your project. And um, you will need these four by four mirrors. I will have everything in the description box. And um, I'm going to use these wavy mirrors that I also purchased from Amazon. This will also be in the description box. And I think with this one, I am going to use this bling wrap, this crushed diamond bling wrap. And this is the, I think it's three centimeters or something like that. But um, this will also be in the description box. But if you want your vase to look exactly like the one I showed, then you'll have to use this kind of bling wrap. So and you will also need some alcohol, paper towel to clean your mirrors once you're done. Um, you'll need some paint. I have this paint that I purchased from Amazon. Or you can use some acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. The only thing about the acrylic paint is that it's washable. And, you know, so, you know, if it get wet or whatever, it'll come automatically off. It'll just mess up the whole project. So... Just for the um, the video purposes, I will use this, and then since I don't have any gloss, because this is a glossy paint, and I think I want this project to be a little glossy, um, I think I'm going to use this as well. I might not, because it takes a long time to dry, and the um, acrylic paint doesn't take as long. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And... Everybody knows that painting is really easy, so I'm not going to have most of my videos showing me painting the uh, wood pieces. So I'm just going to take this stuff off this little tray. And you just have to make sure, I already cleaned it off, but you still have to make sure that it's clean from any dust and debris. I'm going to take some of this acrylic paint and of course um, the Dollar Tree has many different colors of paint so whatever colors you have in your living room or wherever you would put your your uh, vases um, I'm sure it'll be pretty with any color so I'm just gonna just take this brush and kind of roll it around in this paint And then I'm just going to paint the uh, each wood, each pieces of wood. Um, I will painting both sides because I want my inside to be black as well. I don't want it to show white. So if you get some plywood or any kind of wood, unless you just want it like that, I will paint the uh, inside as well. So I'm just going to go over this and I'm not going to have my whole video on me painting this. Once everything is painted and dry, I will be back with the next process. Okay, so now that most of my um, paint is dry, I'm just going to show you that the way it looks. Um, I just used the acrylic paint. I didn't use the glossy paint in the little pint can. Um, and I went over it twice and this is what it looks like. So actually, I really like the way it looks. It almost gives you that almost like a spongy, uh, chalk effect. So I really like it the way it is and I'm not going to touch it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build my box. Um, and I'm going to use this tight bond glue. This is like the best wood glue that you can buy. They have the Amazon and maybe it's your, um, Lowe's or Menards or any kind of hardware store. They might even have it at Walmart, but this is the best kind of glue to get. They have a, um, a part two 
that is um just as good this is like the best wood glue that you can get so what i'm going to do i'm going to start to build my box and i'm going to go along the edge with the glue and you do not need a lot all you need is a string so i'm just going to take some and i'm just going to go as close to the edge as i can And since the thickness of this wood is kind of um, nice and thick, I'm going to, I can just place the other wood on top of it without having anything behind it to hold it down. And I'm going to let this dry for about an hour, and then I'll come back and um, I will do the last part of, of the uh of my box to complete it um, you can also have um, some cut for your base um, or you can either use foam board to make a base all you have to do is cut your measurements out and with this one I will probably make a base and if you don't make a base then you can um, always like fill your box up with um, maybe I guess wrapping paper or uh, grocery bags just to give your plants some height so however you want to do it is up to you so as you see that this wood is standing pretty good and I don't have to put anything behind it to hold it And you will see it kind of seeping out a little bit and just take your paper towel and wipe it up as soon as possible. Because once it dries, it's really hard to um, get it off. And since I'm using this acrylic paint, I'm not going to use any alcohol or anything to wipe off the little excess. Um, okay, so now since the um, wood is dry, I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like. It's kind of hard by doing it on such a short tripod, but this is how it looks. Um, actually, the front and the back part will be a little wider because the sizes were cut all the same and they weren't two wide size and then, um, I'm sorry, two wide size and then two narrower size. So into your measurements, um, if you want them like a complete even around box and not being too short in the front, not being too short. <clears throat> okay, so now that the box is dry, um, I just want to let you know that the boards were cut all the same size and width, height. And um, the reason that I want it like that because the front and the back will be wider. And for this project, I wanted my vase to be wider. But you can measure it any way you want to. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, first of all, I took my bling wrap and I cut them into um, eight roll strips, two eight roll strips. And I will be putting these on the outside of the front of the base only. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take my Take some Mod Podge and I'm going to pour some into a bowl. And I'm just going to go along the edges of the vase and then I will be sticking the bling wrap on top of it. So you can use Mod Podge or any kind of glue. It will stick real good. And um, it also will dry clear. I'm putting a little generous amount on here and I'm going to um, let this dry completely, probably for a couple hours. But I have my heat on and it's pretty warm in here, so it'll probably dry quicker. I'm 
start at the angle is so kind of messed up, but this is what it's looking like. This is a very quick and simple, easy project. <coughs> um, I was going to use the fresh diamond wrap, but I decided to go with the same bling wrap that I used in the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my strip of bling wrap. I'm just going to place it on top of the Mod Podge. I'm just going to start at the top and I'm sticking it on the edge. Okay, so I'm going to complete the same process with the Mod Podge and the bling wrap. And then I will do this side the same way. And then once it's dry, I'll come back and um, I'll proceed on with, the, with this um, project. And also, I, as I said, I'm not going to do a, a base. So whatever you choose is fine. Um, it's all up to you. So I'll be back once this other side is completed and dry with the bling wrap. So this is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to start next by taking the mirrors and placing them in the middle of the vase. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these mirrors and I'm going to need five of them. And I'm just going to take my um, Gorilla Constructive Adhesive Glue and I'm going to place some on the back and I won't go too far towards the end because once you mash them down, they will um, kind of seep out a little bit. And these are, they dry white so I don't want it to show. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start at the very bottom of this vase and make sure everything is aligned and then I'll kind of give it a press then I'm going to take another mirror and I'm going to do the same process And again, I'll be using five of these mirrors. And you can place something heavy on them. Um, I want to take this vase. And then I'll take this can of paint. And then I'll complete I'll continue with the <clears throat> with the other two mirrors.
and then I'm going to do the last one. A total of five mirrors. These are four by four mirrors. I purchased these off of Amazon, but they have them at the Dollar Tree. And they have them like in a, I think they're like a four and a half inch or they used to be five inches, but they stopped selling them that big. But um, I usually get these four by fours because I do a lot of projects and they come in a 50 pack for like $17. So I'm going to find something to set on top of the other mirrors and let them dry. And um, I'm going to let them set for about maybe three hours. And then I'll come back with the other small mirrors, which is these. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. So I'll be back. Okay, so now that I'm back, I'm going to, I turn the vase to the side, and I'm going to be placing these mirrors, these wavy mirrors, um, in a pattern, just going straight up where this space is at, um, because the mirrors are four inches, of course, and this little gap was open, so I'm going to take three of these mirrors, and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and a hot glue stick, Okay, this is how it's looking. I'm having trouble with my focus, so. And again, for um, the hot glue, this is just for the video purposes, but you would want to use a stronger adhesive. I'm just going to take my vase and turn it back long ways. And I'm going to take my alcohol and paper towel and just clean off my mirror. You have to watch it um, with this acrylic paint because again it will like come off real easy because it's washable so really I suggest you use a regular kind of paint and that way it'll stay so I made a little few scratches right here and that's okay because I'm actually liking the little chalky looking color and I will place this vase in my um, dining room once I move into a bigger apartment. So, this is how it's looking so far. And this really is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to see what I can find to put in it and come back with a finished look. So here's the finished look and I just have this placed in my uh, entryway um, as I said earlier I'm going to be moving soon so I have a lot of stuff packed up and I just found a place to stick this real quick just for the video um, it turned out really pretty it's really shiny you really can't see it that good in the video but it's really nice and shiny it made a nice floor base and the curly sticks, they are like a royal blue with glitter. I got these from Amazon about three years ago, and they still sell them. Um, so I'll make sure that I put a uh, description below. Um, I won't have the link because for some reason they don't let me um, send a link or copy it. So I'll just let you know everything um, 
in the description box um, that I use in the video. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Stay safe and God bless you guys and thank you for taking a look at my videos. I appreciate it and um, please subscribe if you already haven't. Hit the like, share, the notification button um, so you'll get alerts whenever I upload a video. Once again, thank you and God bless you. Take care.